Hey beautiful people, David Essery here. I don't know about you guys, but I've been really feeling the effects of this full moon, uh, bringing up a lot of old stuff for me and leaving me feeling a little bit discombobulated. So I thought I would do a video today just to help us connect to the energy of this full moon, bring it in at the highest level, use it to activate our causal chakra, and then ground the energy in helping just to settle ourselves down a bit. We, you know, we've had a lot of flares as well across the last weeks, lots of high frequency energy. Just make sure that we're all properly grounded. So just before I dive into that, if you're not you, if you're not heard of the causal chakra before, you're not used to working with it, this is one of the fifth dimensional chakras that was added to our chakra column in 2014. And it sits about six inches above the top of your head. And it looks like your own personal moon. And this is a, amongst other things, is an amazing anchor to the divine feminine. Um, but it's also a connection to the divine. So um, once fully activated and working, it can help in basically increase your connection to angels, your guides, ascended masters, dragons, unicorns, you're basically your teams of light, it helps your connection to them, helps draw them into your life when it's fully activated. So it's a really beautiful thing to work with and a really powerful energy to have on your side. And of course, because it looks, you know, it's divine feminine energy, it looks like our moon is very, very intrinsically linked to our moon and most active when the moon is full, unsurprisingly. So when we have a full moon like this, whether you're watching this video today or over the next couple of days as it's still in transition, or maybe you're watching this in a few months or even years time, this is you know a really useful practice to do when the moon is full. So I'm just going to roll in it. We're just going to see what happens really. And um, yeah, go with it. Whilst I do this, I'm going to pop my causal chakra artwork up on the screen. This is my representation of what I see of the causal chakra. Uh, you see how lots of orbs in there to represent the, the higher spirits coming to join us. And of course, this moon-like vortex of energy in the center. So you can do this meditation either with your eyes open, focusing on the image, and it will help to activate it. Or you can close your eyes, whichever you prefer. And when you're ready, we're going to begin. Let's just start by taking a deep breath. And exhaling, just allowing your body to soften now. We're just going to take five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes here for us. This is important. We take time to acknowledge us. So just really give yourself permission to relax here for a moment. Take another deep breath in. And bring your attention to your heart. Beautiful, soft pink and white chakra. The golden center. With each breath in, just breathing into your heart and allowing it to expand. And the more your heart chakra grows and opens up, the more it raises your frequency. And naturally, any lower vibrations in your fields will just begin to dissolve into the powerful light of your heart. Just taking a deep breath now. And as you exhale, just consciously allow any lower vibrations to just melt away. Seeing this chakra now expanded out, filling you from shoulder to shoulder. Again, take another deep breath in. As you do, just allow it to expand further till now maybe it reaches all the way down to your waist and up just over the top of your head. Again, as you breathe out, just allowing yourself to relax, just letting go of any lower vibrations. And one more time now, one more deep breath in. Just allowing this field to expand out till it completely surrounds us. A beautiful bubble of pink and white and golden light that is our heart.
This is your energy and it is powerful. Just feel it for a moment. Then let's bring our attention to our causal chakra. So that's six inches above the top of our head, glowing like our own personal moon. Let's take a moment to see, to acknowledge how it looks now. Is it small? Is it dull? Or is it big and bright? Doesn't matter either way. Just acknowledge it. And you may become aware of a beautiful thread of light coming out of the chakra and moving upwards. And let's just follow this thread moving upwards and upwards away from our body. As you move upwards, perhaps leaving the building you're in now, traveling up until you can see wherever you started down beneath you. Moving up further still until you're looking down on your town or city. Up higher until you're looking down on your whole country. Moving up through the atmosphere And leaving the atmosphere, just letting our consciousness travel. Until we're looking down on our entire beautiful planet. Just take a moment now to acknowledge the weightlessness here. Just relax this beautiful sight. Just let all your stresses and troubles melt away. Many of them seem small when you look down on the earth like this. Then allow yourself to continue further up. And you can see now as you look up this thread of light reaching all the way to the big beautiful moon which travels around our planet. And it's glowing right now with incredible energy. Just feel the energy flowing back down this thread of light all the way to your causal. Just allow more of it, allow it to flow. The moon is an incredible divine feminine consciousness. Just allow that to flow and to soften you, drawing in that light. As it does, allow it to expand your causal chakra, growing larger and larger by the second and glowing brighter. Just really just take a moment just to allow this. And you may become aware of beings joining you now as you do this. As you allow this light to flow and this chakra to be activated, perhaps you're being joined by angels, unicorns, Maybe your team of guides are drawing closer, perhaps a dragon or an ascended master or lots of all of them. You may just see them as orbs, just little beautiful glowing balls of light. You may see them as more physical beings. Just allow them in. Just 
setting your intention to connect to only the highest beings at this time, the teams of the light, that's who we're allowing in. Perhaps one of them has a gift for you, maybe they draw close, or a message. Just take a moment now to interact with them. Maybe you wish to ask them for assistance. Just take this opportunity now to connect with them however you desire. Thank them for their blessings here, for whatever, whatever they're bringing to you, whatever they're assisting with. And if you wish, you can ask your core or chakra to hold this vibration for as long as possible. Just bathing in this beautiful high frequency energy. So you're connecting with these beautiful beings. And let's bring us back into our body now. Just traveling back down, seeing the earth beneath us, moving towards where we started. Traveling back down to our country to our town or city, moving further down until we see the place where we started, moving effortlessly through any walls, and just moving back into our body now. But still feeling this thread of light to your causal chakra. Just become aware of your entire chakra column. Become aware of your solar junction high up above your head, a direct connection to your monad, and an entry point from the light of the seven suns that flow into you. It glows like your own personal sun high up above your head, drawing your attention down to your stellar gateway chakra, about a meter above your head, beautiful golden orange. To your soul star, beautiful magenta blue, about 18 inches above the top of your head. Just see the light that's flowing into you from all of the many sources, through the seven suns, through other galactic cosmic locations, into each of these chakras and see it funneling down into you and into your chakra column, back down through the causal, merging with the divine feminine of the moon, flowing down to the crown at the top of your head, entering your physical body, and then just bringing it down through your body, all of these sources of light, through the altar major, the beautiful, brilliant white chakra at the back of your head, through your throat, beautiful royal blue, your thymus or higher heart chakra, which is a beautiful aquamarine colour, just above the heart, through your heart, which has already expanded far and wide around us, glowing with soft pink and white light with golden centre, down through your golden yellow solar plexus, or bright orange navel chakra, just above your belly button, soft pink sacral, your platinum base chakra, still drawing all this light down, and then down to the earth star chakra, it's just below the soles of your feet. Just focus on this now for a minute, 
beautiful hematite grey vortex of energy. And you may even feel your toes tingling a little bit as we bring our attention to it. Just feel this light that you're drawing in, fully activating it. And as it does, silver threads of light begin to grow out of it like roots of a tree. And spreading down into the earth beneath you. Just see the light flowing through each one of these threads and down into the earth. Growing longer and longer. Until they begin to come together. Each of these threads intertwining to create one solid root. They're traveling down through the layers of the earth. As they do, they're raising in vibration and traveling through the dimensional spaces, traveling deeper and deeper until eventually they've reached a vibration so high they are in the seventh dimensional hollow earth. So this is an energetic world within our own. And see so it traveling down until you get to a beautiful, beautiful white pyramid with a golden capstone on the top. As the light draws down towards the top of the pyramid, Capstone opens and the light enters straight through the top of the pyramid and down where Serapis Bay, the beloved master, waits for you. He is standing in front of a massive obsidian sphere. He takes this light and he anchors it into the very centre of the sphere. And this is grounding you into seventh dimensional hollow earth, an incredibly high frequency version of our planet. Just feel yourself grounding in now, allowing the energy to flow perfectly from the heavens above, all the way down through you and down into the earth, and then back up again, back up through the earth, Entering through the Earth Star Chakra at the bottom of your feet and back into your body. And all the way back up to the heavens again. And all the way back down through you and into the Earth. Creating a perfect high frequency connection between heaven and Earth. And one last step now. Look at your body, just see yourself from an external perspective. And then I want you to focus on your energy. You may see this as a silhouette around yourself, almost as if you're looking at two bodies, one your physical and one your energy. And just see if they're in alignment with each other. Is your energy in your physical body? Perhaps maybe your legs are, but then your upper body isn't. Maybe just your arms or your head. Just bring the two back into alignment now. Just allow your energy to flow back until it sits perfectly straight inside your physical body. And take a deep breath. We're just going to ask all of our bodies and fields here to unite together as one. Just set your intention to do that and repeat after me a simple word, unify. I'm going to say this three times now. Unify. 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 Just feel 
your physical, your mental, your emotional and spiritual coming back into alignment. We're perfectly in our body, we're grounded between heaven and earth and we're connected to this beautiful, beautiful moon right now. And we're allowing the energy to flow. We're not fighting it, we're not resisting it, we're in flow with it. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you everyone. Just bringing yourself gently back now. And I always like after doing something like this, just to take a, a moment to acknowledge how I feel now. Hopefully you're feeling nice and relaxed hopefully you're also feeling quite strong in your body you're feeling present you know maybe your brain your thoughts are a little bit clearer maybe you've got a little bit more energy maybe you just feel a little bit loosey-goosey whatever it is just acknowledge this feeling and you know know that you can feel this way you know even when the energy is intense even in a full moon even when we've had these crazy flares we can feel this way if we just bring ourselves back to a center and bring ourselves into alignment with it. Anyway, I really hope that helped you today. Uh, I just want to give you a quick, really quick shout out whilst I've got you for my next workshop, which I'm really, really looking forward to. This is on March the 8th at 7 p.m. in the UK anyway. You can all check the time in your country on my website if you wish. Um, but it's the beginning of a, a new series that I kind of want to start to do. And it's not like a, you have to book loads of workshops in one type of thing. You can dip into this whenever you wish to. But life is life is intense. I think we'll all kind of agree of that, with that. And, it, you know, doing the work that we're doing, pushing forward on Ascension and everything is amazing. But sometimes, you know, sometimes we need to take a break out and do something nice and relaxing and fun just for us, you know, without having to worry about integrations and all of these different things. So I wanted to start this new series, which is called Journeying with the Angels, where in each workshop, we're going to be working with a different specific archangel just to go on a beautiful journey and just experience light and love and a happy experience without you know, having to do loads of work, having to have like a, a light hangover the next day or any of those things, just a really positive experience. Because as I said at the beginning of the meditation, it's really important that we're taking time out for ourselves to honor ourselves. It's, it's you know, such an important self-care thing. So um, for this first workshop, the incredible Archangel Shamuel has stepped forward, uh, basically to take us on a journey for peace, which is something, you know, I think we could all do with a bit more in our life. Just a really good, feel-good experience, um, full of love, full of peace, full of joy. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to share that with you. So as I say, that's on March the 8th. And if you feel like joining me for that, I'll pop all the descriptions, all the details with the link and everything down below. Should be a really beautiful evening and I can't wait to see some of you there. Whatever you're doing this weekend, I hope you're having the most beautiful time. And uh, just, yeah, relax into these energies. Allow it to flow. Drink plenty of water, as always. And I'll see you all again very soon. Sending you lots of love. Bye.